But look, we've got to talk about actor Ben Stiller because he's thrown his support behind Kamala, but at the same time proven why he should actually stick to acting. This is what he said. What you like about Harris platform? And Just very excited about moving forward and uh, all the uh, energy and excitement that's around uh, this movement right now. So that, that's why I'm here because uh, it's you know time for change and it seems like it's happening. You think she'll be able to sustain the momentum post convention? For sure. Uh, you it's think the race be, is going to be close? It's going to be close, but you know everybody's yeah, motivated to work. Brad, I don't even think he believes what he's saying. <laughs> Well, guys, but we're going to be moving forward. And the <laughs> energy and the vibes are just fantastic. I mean, look, joking aside, this, this is just vapid. It's it, just don't don't bother. Right. I mean, he's not going to be getting the Nobel Prize for political science anytime <laughs> soon. Maybe just don't talk about controversial and divisive stuff if all you have to say is hot air. But you know what? It's a little bit hard to blame him because he'd, I'm sure he'd love to cite her policies or something. But guess what's still not on her website? <laughs> Any policies whatsoever. <laughs> so like, when you're running a vibes campaign, it's kind of hard for your supporters to offer up more than vibes. And especially when it's airhead celebrities. I mean, again, <laughs> I just wish we'd all stop looking to them for our political analysis. But <laughs> heck, she's not giving Ben Stiller a ton to go on. <laughs> Brad, uh, they say there's three certainties in life, death, taxes, and MSNBC commentator Joy Reid saying stupid things. Here's her most recent contribution. People need to start thinking of Donald Trump the way they think about Benjamin Netanyahu, who is the equivalent of him in Israel, who will do whatever his far right backers want and including kill a lot of people in Gaza, unlimited numbers, because he, too, is trying to stay out of prison. He, too, is indicted and will do anything to stay in power. And he's allowed the religious far right to run that country. Brad, I don't even know where to begin with that. So I'm, I'm help, hoping you can help me understand what, what is she talking about? I look, I don't know. She is a total nutcase. She is just Trump derangement syndrome personified. But she actually went on in that clip to connect Trump's newfound support for expanding access to fertility treatments to wanting to stay out of jail. Well, actually, I think it might just be a politically popular position he's taking to try to get elected. But hey, what's that good old fashioned common sense explanation worth when you can spin fantastical conspiracy theories and wild narratives but I mean, there's no self-reflection here that, in a sense, everything Donald Trump is trying is running on is trying to stay out of prison because they're trying to lock up their political opponent. <laughs> the Democrats and the Party of Democracy have done everything they can to try to take Trump off the ballot, to prosecute him with lawfare, sometimes with serious cases, but sometimes with farcical cases. And obviously then he's going to want to stay out of jail and he's going to want to win the election so he can stay out of jail. I'm not sure that's the mic drop moment that Joy Reid thinks it is, but no. she is not known for being tethered to reality. Yeah, she really is the chief lunatic of them all. Brad Palumbo, great to see you as always. Thank you so much for joining us.